the golden calf dear friends in today's story we will see what moses who was up with god for 40 days saw and heard while he was coming down in all the previous stories in the book of exodus we have seen that the israelites forgot the god who delivered them from the egyptians and grumbled and quarreled against god in the three months they took to reach Horeb, the Israelites started testing God, even though Moses was with them. Now, when Moses was not with them, how far would they have strayed from God? When the people saw that Moses was taking so long in coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. Hearing this, Aaron commanded them to take off the earrings that their wives and children were wearing and bring it to him. They did as Aaron said. Aaron took what they handed him and made it into an idol, cast in the shape of a calf, fashioning it with a tool. When the Israelites saw this, they might have remembered the gods they saw in Egypt. They were always thinking about the pots of meat, the fish, the cucumbers, melon, leeks, onions and garlics that they had in Egypt. So, when they saw the calf, they placed it as their god. Seeing this, Aaron built an altar before it, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings to the calf as he had seen Moses offer to the Lord. And the people sat down to eat and drink, and then got up to indulge in revelry. Seeing this, the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. The Israelites have forgotten the commandments that God gave them 40 days back and done something that is detestable to Him. So God decided to destroy the Israelites and raise up a nation from Moses. Hearing this, Moses cried out to the Lord as a mediator between Israel and God. And Moses pleaded with God and asked him to remember the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and forgive Israel. God decided to forgive them for now. And Moses came down from the mountain with the tablets of stone on which God wrote with his finger. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But Moses, who knew the truth, went down with Joshua. And as soon as they came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burned hot. He threw the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf and burned it with fire and ground it to powder and scattered it on the water and made the people of Israel drink it. Moses' anger rose against Aaron because he joined with them in this sin rather than stopping them from it. And Moses asked whoever was on the Lord's side to come to him, and all the Levites gathered around him. He was angry with Aaron because he let them break loose to the derision of their enemies. Then, according to the commandment of God, the Levites killed about 3,000 people in the camp by the sword. Then the Lord sent a plague on the people because they made the calf the one that Aaron made. So Moses returned to the Lord to make an atonement for the people of Israel. Moses pleaded to the Lord to blot out his name from the Lord's book if God was not willing to forgive Israel. Did God forgive Israel or did he blot out Moses' name? We will see that in the next story. God bless you.